As Caitlin watched, he couldn't believe it. A hundred thousand people flooded into the square in Bucharest and they're all protesting. These people were poor, they were hungry, but the one thing they had on their placards, the one thing they were shouting was this, that God is alive. Things were changing, circumstances were changing all around Romania. The government was changing, people's lives were changing, but things hadn't changed for Caitlin. Caitlin was still at home, it was still very difficult with his dad, who was very hard on him. It was still, the family was still poor, they were still hungry. See, what had happened was things around Caitlin had changed, but Caitlin hadn't changed. You know, people, what I want you to remember for this little talk today is this, is only the Lord Jesus can change your life. And Caitlin's life hadn't been changed. Things around him were changing, but Caitlin hadn't changed. Only God can change your heart and give you a new life. And that only happens whenever you put your trust in the Lord Jesus and ask the Lord Jesus into your life. Caitlin made up his mind to leave home again, even though he was still very young. And he was heading back to Bucharest. But the question was still in his mind, am I worth anything? When he went back, he was still in the gang. And they're still doing the same old things. He tried to change, but he couldn't. They were stealing. They were cheating. They were doing whatever they could to survive. Caitlin was no different. But what was happening was John Cashelmeyer was now in Romania. And he had bought a great big old house. This was going to be a home, a special place for boys like Caitlin where they could come, they could be safe, they could be well fed, they could be looked after. But Caitlin hadn't met John yet. God was still working things out. Now there was one day and Caitlin was sitting in a park in, in uh, Bucharest and he watched as a family came along. This family was well dressed, they were happy, they were smiling, they were playing together. And he went over to the mum and he said, can I play with your children? And she said, yes. So all day Caitlin played with the children. But soon it became time for them to go home. And Caitlin, in his mind, he thought this, take me home with you. He thought this must be what it's like to be part of a loving family, a caring family. But as he watched, the mum and the dad, they gathered up the children and off they went home and they left Caitlin on his own. You know what had happened that day was this, was Caitlin was pretending to be part of that family. And young people, sometimes we can be like that. You can go to your church, you can go to your GB or your BB and you can pretend. You can pretend you're part of God's family, but you know that you've never asked the Lord Jesus into your life to change you. You've never prayed that prayer, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Forgive me. Make me part of your family and help me live to please you. Well, today you could pray that prayer and you become part of God's family. You see, there's a verse in the Bible in John chapter 1, verse 12. It says to those who believe in his name, that's those people, perhaps you today, who have asked, Lord Jesus, come into my life, come into my heart, forgive me. It says if you do that and really mean it, then he, God, gives you the right to become children of God. You can become, become part of God's family today, but only the Lord Jesus can make you part of God's family. And only the Lord Jesus can change your life. There was one day again that Caitlin was out trying to find food for him and the boys. And he's standing outside a cafe and he's going to do the same thing he'd done many days. He's going to try and steal some scraps or steal the tips that were left. And this well-dressed man walked past him. He'd noticed Caitlin and he walked on into the cafe. And Caitlin watched as the man ordered two roast chickens. And he said, put them into a bag. I want to take them with me. Caitlin could smell the chicken and he was so hungry. And then to Caitlin's amazement, as the man walked back out past Caitlin, he shoved the bag into Caitlin's hand. He said, these are for you. Caitlin couldn't believe it. He thanked the man, he took the bag and he ran back to where the rest of the boys were hiding and, and, and he shouted out, he says, quick boys, quick, he says, we've got food, we've got chicken. And the boys all crowded around, soon the bag was tore open and they're starting to pull bits of chicken off. Then Caitlin shouted out, stop, we have to give thanks. The boys, in their amazement, they stopped and Caitlin closed his eyes and he gave thanks to God for the food and he gave thanks to God for the man that had given the food. You see, what was happening was, Caitlin was learning that there is a God. God was starting to change Caitlin's life, but Caitlin still hadn't put his trust in the Lord Jesus. He was still, he was trying to change, but he was doing it in his own strength. Young people, sometimes we try to change, but we try to do it in our own way. We try to be good. We try not to say the things we say. We try to not to do the things that you know wouldn't please God. But the Bible says that we're all born with sin on the inside. And the Bible teaches that only the Lord Jesus can take away that sin and give us a new heart and help us to live to please God. Remember our verse, to those who believe in his name, the Lord Jesus, he gives the right to become children of God. You become part of God's family today with your trust in the Lord Jesus. Things were changing. It's now 1995 and some of the boys 
come in, they're all excited. And they said to Caitlin, we have met him. We have met this man called John and he's good to us. He's our friend and he brings us food. He brings us sandwiches, sometimes 50 at a time. He has come to live in Romania, in the mountains, in Targu Mures in the mountains. He's coming here next week and he wants us to meet him. He said he'll take us to a restaurant and he'll give us some food and he lets us call him daddy. Caitlin couldn't believe what he was hearing. And he thought, is there really someone who cares enough about us to look after us, to feed us? He made up his mind that he wanted to meet this man, John. And sure enough, a week later, him and some of the boys at the train, they met this man, John. And John had sandwiches with him. And the boys all tucked into the sandwiches. But John told the boys, including Caitlin, I have a home. I have a home where you can come and stay. You'll be well looked after. We will feed you. We will clothe you. We will help you get an education. And Caitlin made up his mind, yes, I want to go with this man, John. So did some of the other boys. But what happened was when they were there for a short time, some of the boys made up their minds, no, this isn't what we want. And they went back to Bucharest. They went back to the gang life again. But Caitlin stayed. You see, they had a choice. Young person, you have a choice. You have a choice of whether you want the Lord Jesus in your life or not. See, those boys who went back to Bucharest, their choice was really this. We don't really want to hear about God. We don't really want to hear about the Lord Jesus because that's what John was teaching these boys. Yes, he was looking after them, but he was also teaching them about God and how God could change their lives. And they didn't want to change their lives. But Caitlin did. And as Caitlin listened to John, as Caitlin realized how kind John was to him and his wee wife as well, Caitlin said yes to the Lord Jesus. And Caitlin asked the Lord Jesus into his life. You know, God now changed Caitlin. This is years ago because today... Caitlin is roughly about 36 years old. He got married. He met a Christian lady called Anna and they're married today. And in fact, John Cashelmeyer and his wife Anna went back to America. But before he went, he put John in charge of the home for boys. And now John or Caitlin in charge of the home for boys. And now Caitlin is the one that goes out and brings boys out of gangs and boys that have no home to the home to look after them and to teach them about the Lord Jesus as well and how the Lord Jesus can change their lives. And also he has also started, helped to start eight churches in the area too. Look how God changed Caitlin's life and give him purpose and give him something to do to serve God. But it all started when he put his trust in the Lord Jesus. What about you? You know, it's great to hear these stories of how other people's lives can be changed. But it's up to you to make the choice. You Maybe you're pretending today. Maybe you haven't made that choice yet. But today can be your day. And you say yes to the Lord Jesus. And you put your trust in him and ask the Lord Jesus into your life. Remember our verse, John 1 verse 12. To those who believe in his name, believe in the Lord Jesus. It says, to those he gives the right to become children of God. You can become part of God's family today. But remember, only through the Lord Jesus. Because only the Lord Jesus can change your life.